Hello, coming to our today's class, we are going to continue the displacement reactions. So, in last class, I already given you the mathematical representation of displacement reaction. And as we know, if you want to study the displacement reaction, you need to study first activity series means uh, what do you mean by activity series that also I have taught you in the last class. So now, first of all, if it comes to the displacement reaction. So what is the mathematical representation? Anybody? So displacement reaction means what? So AB is the what? Compound will react with the what? A element and it is going to be AC. is going to be replaced AC. B and AC will form the compound and B will mm -hmm. come separately. So this is what we used to say displacement reaction. So now as I told you always, if B, if C is more reactive than B, then only C can replace the B position. If not, no reaction will be carried out. Is it as or no, guys? That is the first point which you have to keep it in mind. So as we know, and also I told you the features of displacement reaction. So totally I have taught you the four features of displacement reaction. What is the features? Anybody? So features color not changes. Reaction. Yeah. First of all, we can notice it change in color. And the second one, we can notice it involving may involve in addition of what? May involve formation of what it is. Yeah, formation of precipitate. And same way, third one is. Maybe it is formed by, it can be shown, this can be shown by only which compounds? Ionic, ionic compounds. Ionic compounds. As I told you, ionic compounds will formed by what, guys? Only by formed and receiving electrons. By sharing or donating. Understand? Electrons. By donating or receiving the electrons. Receiving. That is what we used to say, ionic compounds. Next one, last one, which you people don't know, that is what these, re these reactions are what? Redox. redox reaction. Okay. So all the displacement reactions are redox reactions only. So once we'll study the last type of reaction, by the time we'll understand what is redox reactions. Okay. Saru, be very careful. If you have no doubt, you can ask me. So now if it comes to here, if you want to understand this displacement reaction, as I told you, you need to know a metal activity series or simply you can say activity series. That is what uh, we studied in the last class. Now, come, if you'll understand this one. So as we know, what do you mean by activity series? Girls, anybody? What do you mean by activity series? So a certain kind of selected, selected metals has been arranged in vertical column in the order of decreasing uh, reactivity or increasing reactivity girls decreasing reactivity what it is decreasing, decreasing reactivity, reactivity. So when you are going from top to bottom it has been arranged that decreasing reactivity nature so the only non metal which is arranged in this vertical column what is that non metal which will come hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay. Hydrogen. 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 The only non metal which is arranged in this vertical column, other than this, all are what metals only. So, for remembering that metal activity series, I taught you even one mnemonic also. So, what is that mnemonic? Firstly, everyone, for call me. Never call me. Never call me. Never call me a zebra. I like hydrogen. Call me a pretty guy. Call me a pretty guy. So, please never. Call me a zebra. I like hydrogen. Call me a call me a what? Call me a pretty girl or pretty boy. Call pretty me a pretty pretty girl or you can say girl. So now this metals everybody should remember. So please. Please indicate potassium. Symbol is what, guys? Potassium. Symbol is K. Okay. Never indicate sodium. Sodium. C indicate Magnesium. calcium. M indicate magnesium. magnesium. A indicate aluminium. Z indicates zebra. Zinc. What is that? Zinc. Zn. 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 
I indicate iron, Fe. Understand? Iron. And like indicate lead, Pb. Lead. Hydrogen, hydrogen only. And C means what? Call. Call. Copper. Me means mercury, Hg. Me means mercury, Hg. E means what? Silver. Silver. Ag. Yeah. Silver Ag. Pretty means platinum. Platinum. Girl means gold. That is what Eau. Okay. So these are. This is only ways to call it as metal activity series. Now, as we know, two arrows. One is downward arrow, and another one is upward arrow. So upward arrow. If you are keep on going from top to bottom. The top to bottom is this arrow. So reactivity decreases or increases? Decreases. Reactivity will decrease. Decreases. That is what you have to remember. Now, example. Let me take. Now you tell me. Decreases means potassium and aluminium. Who is more reactive? Who is less reactive? Anybody? Uh, potassium more, sir. Potassium, potassium more reactive. Aluminium no, sir. Is less reactive. Understand? Now, aluminium and hydrogen. Who is more reactive? Who is less reactive? Aluminium, aluminium more, sir. Aluminium, 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 aluminium more reactive. More. Understand? Zinc is more reactive or copper is more reactive? Sir, zinc is more reactive. Zinc is more reactive. Sir. More reactive. Yes, that is. Now, coming to the bottom to top, reactivity nature, what will happen, guys? Reactivity in nature will happen. Reactivity in nature will increase. Understand? Now, in this metal activity series, the only non-metal which is included is hydrogen. Because even though it is a non-metal, always it will behave as a what? It will behave as a metal. By how? By donating electron. So donating electron. So that is the reason hydrogen is included in the metal activity series. Now, if you are keep on going down, so in this metal activity series, who is the most reactive metal? Who is the most reactive metal? Potassium. Potassium. Who is the most reactive metal? Potassium. And who is the least reactive metal? Least gold. reactive. Gold. 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 Yeah. gold. Understand? Least reactive is gold. And most are maximum reactive metal. Most reactive metal is called as potassium. Clear? Now, I want to study the displacement reaction. Then, let us study. Sir, how to how to write? So, who is this uh, Arya party? Please rename yourself. I need to know the name. So, now, if you will notice it, uh, everybody observe very carefully. Rohit, can you understand? Now let us select somebody of you. Let me give the chance to uh, Pradeep Raj. Now Pradeep, select, can you select any element in this? Any one element you can say, please. Any one element. Asita, can you select any one element? Your choice, you can tell me, any one element. Nobody? Oh, anybody? Select any one element, please. Sir, platinum. Yeah, platinum. Let me take uh, let, that much last knot. Let me select now aluminum. Is it okay, guys? Aluminum, is it okay, everybody? Now, remember, aluminum is the metal which is, which is present in here. Now, if you we'll take the aluminum, aluminum can be replaced by only the metals which is present above. Do you understand? So whenever aluminum is in compound state, aluminum can be replaced only by the metals which are present above. Do you understand? So the metals which are present below cannot be replaced with the aluminum. Do you understand what I am saying? So always the element, if you have, whatever the element they have given, which is present above can replace it, which is present below cannot replace it. Why? What is the reason? Because the element below which is less reactive than that element so that it cannot be replaced the above element. That is what you have to remember. So if we we'll take, for example, I am selecting aluminum. So aluminum can replace by all these four metals but aluminum cannot be replaced by this all the below elements which are present. 
Okay, first point. Are you understanding everybody? What I'm saying? Clear? Yes or no? Yes, no. Yes, sir. Aluminium yes, sir. can replace. Aluminium can replace this all the metals. Means when this below metals are in compound state, aluminium can replace them. But aluminium cannot replace this above metals when they are in compound state. So by that time, no reaction will take place. So this is the point you have to remember. Always you remember in metal activity series, the element which is present below can be replaced by it, but the element which is present above cannot be replaced by it. Do you understand everyone? That is the point you have to remember it. Now, is there any metal which can replace the potassium in this element, in this? Is there any no, metal which can replace the no, potassium? No, 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 Why sir. potassium is the maximum or most reactive metal? Now, if we take the sodium, sodium can be replaced by only one metal. What is that? Potassium. Yeah, potassium. potassium. But sodium can replace so many metals. What is that? Sodium can replace so many metals. What is that? All the metals are present below. Do you understand it? That is what you have to remember. So, the two points you have to remember always, the metal which is present below, understand? The metal present which is below, which is below, cannot replace, cannot replace above metal understand above metal same way what another point the metal which is present above the metal which is present which is present above can replace what can replace below metals do you understand everyone below metals. That is what it is. The points you have to remember. Now the reaction will start. So can we start with the first example, everybody? Are, are you okay? So yeah. now example number one. So now, first of all, as I told you, displacement reaction will take place between whom? One compound and another one is what, guys? Compound plus element. Do you understand? Again, we'll give you compound plus element the products also what we used to get compound plus element will come are you understanding or else you can take element plus compound will give you again what compound plus element are you clear everybody please yes, respond sir. but always keep in mind girls and boys everybody i'm saying you the element the metal which is present in compound understanding must be less reactive than the element are you understand Elmukil, what i'm saying pradhos maunish yes, the element the element which is present in free state always must be more reactive than the element which is present in the compound state then only the reaction will carried out if not what we have to write no reaction will carried out prima everyone please respond yeah that is what yes sir let us start with the first example, the, which is a well-known example for us. That is what? Reaction between zinc and iron sulfate. What is the state of zinc? You should tell me. Zinc is what, guys? Solid what? state. Zinc is? Solid. Yeah, solid state will react with iron sulfate. Iron sulfate state, as I told you, one must be in which state? Aqueous state. One must be in which state? What? Liquid state. Liquid state is like aqueous state. It must be dissolved in water. Understand? Aqueous state. So the color of this one is light green. What is the color of this one? Light green. Light, light green. green. Color is very, very important. Because displacement reaction means what is the first change we'll observe? Change. Color change. Color. Understand? So this FeSO4 also we can call it as ferrous sulfate. What is to call? Ferrous sulfate. Ferrous sulfate, keep it in mind. So now we'll react. Now go to that. Who is who is the free element here and who is the compound state? You have to tell me. Who is in free state and who is in compound state? Zinc is a free element. Zinc is free state, sir. And iron is in compound state. So now let us check it. Zinc and iron. So who is more reactive? Zinc and iron? 
who must be more reactive zinc zinc reactive check it so zinc and iron so reaction will carried out or not anybody reaction will carried out or yes, not sir. Yes, reaction yes, will be carried out. Why? Zinc is more reactive than iron, so that reaction will takes place. So, what is the products will come, guys? Iron is replaced Zinc by who is to get ZnSO4. What is the state? Aqueous state. Understanding. Plus, iron will will it is get it as a solid state separately. So, this one we used to call as what is that called as, guys? Zinc sulfate. Understand? Zinc sulfate. So this one we used to say it is the colorless. What is that? It is the colorless solution. So keep it in mind whenever you are getting iron, it is a light green color. Zinc colorless. If you get copper, what is the copper color? Copper sulfate. Copper sulfate. Blue, Blue color always. Blue. And color of iron is dark gray. Okay, dark grey color. Is it okay? Okay, Shkarthi, Sekti, everybody. Yes, sir. This is what it will happen. So this is what it is. Amma, green color is iron sulfate. Iron color is dark grey. Is it okay? So this is the first reaction. Now, let us take the reverse reaction. What is the reverse reaction? This reaction. Let me take reverse now. So tell me, guys, you zinc sulfate plus iron. Now this is the reaction. Now what is the products will come? Anybody? Uh, no reaction. Uh, no reaction, sir. No reaction. Why, girls? Have you understand, girls? Anybody are in doubt? You can ask me. Now you will notice it. Who is in free state? Who is in free state? I am. I am in free state. So, and zinc is in combined state. So now you tell me. I am want to replace the zinc. It must be more reactive or less reactive. No. It must be more reactive, but if you'll see the metal activity series, iron is present below or above. Iron is present below, below or above. It is present below. below. So no reaction will carry down. So what is the products will come? Laksha, Ishali, open your mouth. It is nothing is that. Simply sitting, I will never be happy, I am saying you. So no reaction will be carried out. You have to involve girls. Girls is always hiding and simply sitting. What is the use of the, uh, attending the classes? I don't know. You have to involve boys out there responding. That is what. Next. Second example. Magnesium reacting with the copper sulfate. Magnesium, what is the state, guys? Magnesium state. Solid. 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 Understanding. Reacting with copper sulfate. Copper sulfate color. Copper sulfate mm -hmm. color. Blue, blue color. Blue color. Blue. Again, I'm saying you blue color. So copper sulfate. What is the state of copper sulfate? That is, you should tell me. That is. Now, you tell me which is in free state, which is in combined state, girls. Copper is in combined state. Now, who must be more reactive? Magnesium or copper? Magnesium. 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 So, magnesium, magnesium is in And as we know, magnesium is more reactive than copper. So, reaction will carry out or not, guys? Yes, 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 yes. So, copper will be replaced by magnesium. We are going to get, what is the product? Magnesium sulfate. So, what is the color of magnesium sulfate? Aquise. Aquise. And it is again, what is the color? Color? It is the color. Colorless. Yeah. Plus copper. Copper, what is the color? Too so many times I told you already. Reddish brown. Reddish brown. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Uh, reddish. Yeah, reddish. Reddish brown, we can say. Uh, reddish, we can say. That is what. So now if you write the reverse reaction, say magnesium sulfate which is in aqueous state, will react with the copper, which is in solid state. What is the reaction now? What is the reaction? No reaction. No reaction. No reaction. No reaction. Understand? Why no reaction now? Because copper is in free state. So copper is less reactive or more reactive than magnesium. It is less reactive. Less. Copper, is, copper is less reactive than, understanding, reactive than magnesium so what will happen no reaction is carried out clear tamil cell one
setting that is what so now next example let me take next example let me see who will answer yeah, everybody try to communicate and answer me now next one copper sulfate cuso4 plus zinc so cuso4 is an aqueous state so zinc is in what is the state of zinc solid solid that yes sir zinc sulfate forgot to mention your magnesium color also silvery white what is the color of magnesium silvery silver white that is also you have to remember okay so silvery white color is the magnesium color ma call to sheshayani am i don't know what happened to this sheshayani now zinc color what is the color copper sulfate color guys copper sulfate color it is the blue, blue color and blue zinc color. color what is the zinc color silvery white so zinc also silvery white now you tell me reaction will carried out or not who is in who is in combined yes, state sir. yes sir कलर कापर reddish brown reddish brown reddish brown so now and as well as what is the color of zinc sulfate colorless colorless colorless, colorless. colorless. mind should say the colors now you will write the reverse reaction reaction will carried out reaction no sir no, no, not possible it will carried out no, you have to remember okay next you will take next one so let us carry out more reactions you can say next you can take copper plus silver nitrate copper plus silver nitrate what is the color of copper color of copper of reddish brown understand is reacting with the silver nitrate agno3 agno3 will give you so here product is not copper nitrate because valency will change so you can check it so what is the valency of silver silver is plus 1 nitrate is minus 1 so that we are getting what agno3 be careful every time understand now react reaction will take place or not silver and copper who is more reactive copper 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 copper, so copper. Colorless. copper. it is colorless silver nitrate now what is the compound will come let me see who will who will say Yes. Copper nitrate. Copper nitrate. Copper nitrate. Copper nitrate. Copper nitrate. I know. What is the formula? What is the formula? Cu NO3 guys. That is my one. Understand? What is that? Cu NO3 NO3 twice. Understand? So balancing is also very important. So what is the balancing? Tell me anybody. By three and C Cu Cu plus sir. Cu plus. 2 Ag and O3. You understand it? Which will give you 2 Ag. And what is the state of this one? Solid state. Solid. So that is what. So what is the copper nitrate color? What is the copper nitrate color? Blue. Blue color. And silver. Silver what? What is the color? Silver white color. Silver white. So that is what. Now, why I written sir copper nitrate twice? What is the valency of copper? Copper is oh, less. And nitrate is what, guys? Minus one. Minus. Alana, simplicity. At least girls, those who are not speaking, at least in chart you have to answer. That much actively you have to be. I don't know what what you people are doing. So what is the valence will come? Cu one and Si. Are you understand Si? Copper nitrate. That's not. So that is what it is. The balance equation. So reaction will carry it out. Next, you take next reaction. Let me take. Write all the examples because you you we have to be very very familiar with the examples. Nowhere you commit mistake anywhere. That is what the reason we are discussing these many examples. Okay. Next, copper chloride. You can write copper chloride example. Everyone, copper chloride. What is the formula will come? Elmokel. Copper chloride. Cuc two copper chloride will react with the lead. This is so. Now what will come, guys? Copper chloride and lead reaction will take place or not? So copper chloride is green color and lead is bluish gray color. What is the red? Lead color? 
blue is blue. now you tell me who is more reactive lead or copper lead lead or lead sir reactive carried out or not girls yes sir so what is the what is what is the what is the products will come pbc cl2 aqua state yeah aqua state you color of this one it will be turns into colorless understand colorless colorless plus we are going to get copper as a solid state copper copper, copper again what is the color of copper reddish, reddish brown sir blue reddish, reddish brown reddish blue okay like that next next right as i told you it, it may be metal or non metal also so now next iron is reacting with hydrochloric acid hcl so here hcl what is the state aqua state or gaseous state aqua state aqua state as i as i told you if i mention hydrochloric in gas gaseous state that is called as hydrogen hydrogen chloride this is called as hydrochloric acid what is to call hydrochloric acid understand acid. so now yes, if i write if i write hcl in gaseous state gaseous state this is called as hydrogen chloride hydrogen what is to call hydrogen chloride so in this case no reaction will take place understand when it will be behaves like acid only when it is dissolved in water do you understand everybody so always you have to take hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid aqua state so now if it will react what is the reaction will come anybody here is pcl2 plus h2 pcl2 pcl2 so so here balancing what will come 2 hcl 2 hcl plus what will come guys h2 hydrogen gas that is now this is fecl2 this is only way to called as iron 2 chloride what is to call iron 2 chloride understand our ferric uh, ferrous chloride we can say iron 2 chloride or we can say ferrous chloride clearly you remember because ferric chloride ferrous chloride like difference will come so you have to learn this okay this is what we used to call ferrous chloride okay everybody any doubt next next example you can write magnesium is reacting with the hydrochloric acid magnesium is solid state and hydrochloric acid hcl gaseous state oh, sorry aqueous state not gaseous state so now what is the products will come reaction will carried out or not who is more reactive magnesium or hydrogen magnesium magnesium so what is the products will come guys magnesium gaseous plus h2 2h2 hydrogen gas 2h2 no only h2 to hcl sir yeah 2 hcl that is what so that is what you have to remember like that so many reactions we can write next sodium with the sodium can anybody tell me sodium reacting with the water sodium reacting with the water so what is the products will come sodium is more reactive or less reactive sodium is more or less reactive more reactive more reactive so reaction will carried out so what will come sodium will yeah, water we used to get a basic in nature what is that sodium hydroxide understand plus we are going to get hydrogen gas okay now balancing is very important who will balance it fastly who will balance it rohit just check it in plus 3h2 no wrong 3h2 or one come we want to balance it here you can check it hydrogen here one and here sir two na over sir yes please 2h yeah plus 2h2 oh, 2na 2na plus 2h2o will give you 2na oh okay that is what you have to remember so balance the equation so reaction will carried out why 2h2 yeah 2h2 no only h2 monish check it hydrogens are four here two and here two already balanced understand monish yes sir no that is what yes, so be very careful with that and you have to remember so so many you can write like this now you can write next reaction 
copper oxide which is present in solid state will react with magnesium which is also in solid state now you tell me reaction will carried out or not not sir not more yes sir who is more reactive magnesium, magnesium. More reactive than copper do you understand that is see no need of aqueous state that is what our majority of reactions are aqueous state but doesn't mean that every reaction is needed okay that is also you have to keep it in mind so now what will come we are going to get magnesium oxide magnesium oxide plus copper copper as i taught you you all written the definition of a uh, displacement reaction so can anybody read the displacement reaction definition it may be a metal or maybe a non metal also yes or no guys yes that is what so very rarely non metals will show the displacement reaction that is also we'll study so now this is all the reactions which we used to call examples of what displacement reaction displacement reactions so you can take so many examples for example if we we'll take fe2o3 what is the formula this is anybody can tell me this ferric is ferric oxide ferric oxide understand everybody ferric oxide this is only we used to called as iron 3 oxide what we used to call iron 3 oxide kindly remember so react with the aluminum so now reaction will carried out or not Manish, yes, sir. Manish, yes, sir. will carry it out or not? Because who is more reactive? Aluminium, Aluminium. Is more reactive than iron. So, my friend, what is the products will come, my friend? Sir, A L A L two three aluminium oxide. Understanding. Plus, what we should get? Iron. But iron three. Here we are getting liquid state iron. Okay. So two F E will come. That is what you have to remember. So aluminium oxide. What is the formula? 